Hi friends and welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. Today I'm joined by Mr. Elephant. This week our two lessons are going to be all about the farm. Let's get started with our calendar and say our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Monday, today is Tata Tuesday. What number is going to come next? 10, 11, 12. 12. Our months of the year start with January. Can you say them with me? January, February, March, April, May. This month is May. So together, all together, we say today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Don't forget to see what the weather is like at your house today. Let's check our schedule. We have circle time. Our sight word and story is where is the green sheep? We have a special game today. Guess the farm animal. We're gonna be doing a math question with our special puppets today. Our social studies, we're gonna be talking about which states produce corn on their farm. And then we have a science experiment, which is going to be, do you think that corn kernels can dance? What do you think? Can corn kernels dance? Yes or no? So we're going to find out. And we will end with our joke. For our color today, what color is our horse today? He is brown. Brown, that's right. Our horse is brown. What shape has three sides? A triangle. Use your hands. Can you make a triangle? Three sides. That's right. How many animals do we have up on the top of our board today? One, two, three, four, five. five. Get your five fingers. You have five fingers on one hand. That's our number today. Five of our old McDonald animals. Our letters for today were letters that are together. Whenever you see these letters together, they make a special sound. S-H together makes what sound, Mr. Elephant? S-H says... What? Shh. Shh. Just like when we read in our book, where is the green sh sheep? S-H says shh. Those are our two letters today. S-H says shh. Our first card today. Who feels disappointed? I heard that happen. Who feels? Who feels disappointed? Somebody on the top or on the bottom? The bottom. On the bottom, on the left or the right? Right. On the right. He feels disappointed. Do you think he won his game or lost his game? Lost. Maybe he lost it. He feels disappointed. But we still have to have good sportsmanship even if we lose or even if we kick the ball and miss the goal, right? You can still feel disappointed and have good sportsmanship and congratulate the other team and try again next time. He looks like he's feeling a little disappointed. Bye, friend. What rhymes with hen? Old McDonald had a hen? What rhymes with hen? Dog, pen, skunk. Hen, pen. Oh, they sound the same at the end. Hen rhymes with pen. Do you think there are 10 pen, each with a pen? <laughs> Those all rhyme, 10 pen, pen. I have two Lego cars, but they're going in opposite directions. Can you tell me? This car is going down, down and this car is going uh. up. Pretend that you have a Lego car. Get it in your hand. Have them go up the hill and down the hill. The opposite of up is down, uh. of course. We have some action verbs. Verb is something you can do. What is she doing? She is reading. Reading. Thumbs up if you like to read. Oh, we love to read. Maybe you read fiction, which is stories that are made up. Maybe you read nonfiction, which is stories that are true. My friend here was getting ready to eat dinner. Which one shows him making the best choice of having good manners? Do we eat with dirty hands or do we wash our hands before we eat? 
Of course we do not sit down with dirty hands anytime before you eat. You have to wash your hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds. We're going to be learning about a duck today. Old McDonald had a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> what? Let's see. Ducks are birds that have webbed feet to help them swim. So their feet don't look like ours. They have webs in between to help them swim. Ducks are almost always found in water like ponds, rivers, wetlands, and oceans. Did you know a duck's feathers are waterproof? That's how it stays warm in cold water. A duck's mouth is called a bill. The part that sticks out is bill. Where's your, can you pretend to have a bill? And last one, did you know that ducks are related to both geese and swans? There's our duck again. What's a duck say? Quack, 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 quack. We are going to listen to the details of going camping with dad. Listen to the story. Try to remember the details for my question. Every year, Mr. Matthews takes his daughter camping because she likes to roast marshmallows by the campfire. One more time. Every year, Mr. Matthews takes his daughter camping because she likes to roast marshmallows by the campfire. Question one. Who takes his daughter on a trip? Uh, Mr. Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews. Where does he take her? Camping. They go camping. That's right. How often do they go? Every year. Every year. And last one. Why does Mr. Matthews take his daughter camping? Because she likes to roast over the fire. That's right. She likes to roast marshmallows. Thumbs up if you like to roast marshmallows at home. Do you like them when they're burnt and black? Yeah. Not me, but some people do. Say our alphabet. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Whoo, that was 26 letters in our alphabet. Stand up. Everybody, stand up. And sit down. All right, stand back up again. And pretend you are a dancer. Dance and dance. Maybe you twist and twirl. Do you have a favorite dance move? All right, freeze. And sit down. What do you do with a rake? You rake the leaves. That's right. You and use you it to rake the, the, the leaves. A square, a circle, and triangle are all in what category? Shapes. They are all shapes, of course. We just talked about the triangle this morning. When does a rooster crow? When would our rooster crow? Do you know? In the morning. In the morning, they wake you up. What do they say? It's almost like an alarm clock on the farm. And last question before we do our yoga pose. Why do you wear shoes? So you don't get your back dirty too much. Why do we wear our shoes? Because they protect your feet, feet, right? They protect your feet. Everybody up. Today we're going to do a yoga pose like an airplane. First you need your wings. Wings out. You want to come up and show us? Mr. Elephant, okay, he's going to show me how to do an airplane. Wings out. And bend your knees and squat. And up. And down. And up. And down. If you could fly anywhere, where would you want to go, Mr. Elephant? Uh, to Africa. And go to Africa, the continent of Africa. That would be fun to see some of the animals in their natural habitat. Next up, we have our sight word and story. I have our sight word. Spell, you spell it H-E-R-E. -E. Here. Our sight word is here. I am sitting right here. And you are over there. there, here and there. Let's go through all of our words. Ready? Here. What? Where? In. Like. To. See. 
have, have you, you go, go not it, it is big I and our word today is here our sentence please come what in our story we're going to be looking for our word here guess who we're going to look for let's read our title where is the green sheep we're going to be looking for the green sheep by mem fox and judy harassic every time you hear our word here put your thumb up ready here is the blue sheep and here is the red sheep. Here is the bath sheep. And here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. Can you help me? But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. Help me. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep. And here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And here is the train sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the wind sheep. And here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep, and here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep, and here is the far sheep. Here is the moon sheep, and here is the star sheep. But where is the green sheep? Where is that green sheep? Turn the page quietly. Let's take a peep. Here's our green sheep. Fast asleep. Was he behind the bush? Next up for our game, we are playing the game, guess what I am? Mr. Elephant's going to come up here and he's going to pick a farm animal. I have three different farm animals. He's going to put it on his face so that he doesn't know which one it is. And let's turn so everybody can see. I'm going to give him clues and see if he can guess. Guess what he is, ready? This is an animal. It lives on Old McDonald's farm. Sometimes it lives outside on the farm. Sometimes it lives inside the house at the farm. Sometimes this animal helps the farmer. It helps the farmer round up the sheep and round up the cattle. Dog. It's a dog. dog. Good job. All right, you want to do one more? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one do you want? That one? Okay. Okay, let's see so everybody can see who, as we try to guess what I am. Ready? I am an animal. I live outside on a farm. I can be black, white, brown, black and white. I'm pretty big. You can't pick me up. Cow. I say moo. Cow. I am a cow. Good job on our game. All right. <laughs> you want to do the last one? Okay. All right. Ready? 
The last animal, let's turn. Okay, I am an animal that lives on the farm. I live outside. I like to play in the mud. Pig. I'm pink and I say oink. <laughs> I'm a pig. That's a really fun game. Let's see, we're going to sing our old McDonald farm before we do our math. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, 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 oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. That's our June dog. <laughs> Not as she sometimes looks like a horse. With a nay, nay here and a nay, nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a rooster, E-I-E-I-O. Can you help me with a cock-a-doodle-doo -doo here and a cock-a-doodle-doo -doo there? Here a cock-a-doodle-doo, -doo, there a cock-a-doodle-doo, -doo. everywhere a cock-a-doodle-doo-doo. -doo -doo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep. E-I-E-I-O, what's the sheep say? With a bad, bad here and a bad, bad there. Here a bad, there a bad, everywhere a bad, bad. Oh, McDonald's had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. That's always one of my favorite songs, Old McDonald. Before our math, we're going to do a Mind in Motion brain break. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Okay, ready for our combination? I want to see, maybe you should come up here, Mr. Elephant, and everybody can see you. Okay, ready? We're going to do four commands. Stomp, jump, throw, X. All right. I hope you were able to remember all four of those Minds in Motion commands as well. For our map today, we're going to count our animals. One. Two, three, four, five. There were five animals on Old McDonald's farm. Okay, so we're gonna start with. Ready for our addition story problem. Last week we did subtraction. Today we're gonna be doing addition means we're gonna be adding. The five animals lived on the farm. Mr. Cow, Mr. Pig, Mr. Horse, Mr. Rooster, and Mr. Sheep but three more of their friends came over to play. Mr. Donkey, yeehaw. Mr. Goat, meh. And Mr. Chicken all came over to play. Now, how many animals are on the farm? So we started with what? Five. We are adding, so we need a plus sign. How many more animals did we add? One, two, three. Five plus three equals how eight. many? You can do it on your fingers or we can add them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. So all together we say five plus three equals eight. Another way to do it is if you know that five is the bigger number, you start with five. So five plus three, you would say five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. Thumbs up, great job. Let's do another quick Minds in Motion brain break up here, Mr. Elephant. We're gonna do squat, hop, bend. Thumbs up. Woo. For our social studies today, we're going to be talking about the United States producing corn. 
Did you know that the United States is the largest corn producer in the whole world? Guess how many acres are reserved for harvesting corn? 96 million acres in all of the United States. 96 million acres are reserved for corn production. The highest grossing states of corn are Iowa that we've talked about, Illinois, Minnesota, and Nebraska. Those are all the highest producing corn states in the Midwest. They produce the most corn every single year. Something that's really fun to learn about that I didn't know is that there were six different types of corn. Did you know that? Six different types. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Six different types of corn. The first one is called dent corn. Can you say that? Dent corn. The second one is flint corn. Can you say that? Flint corn. Number three is pod corn. Can you say that? Pod corn. Number four is popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn, we know that. Number five is flower corn. Can you say that? Flower corn. And the last one, number six, is sweet corn. Sweet corn. Sweet corn is the corn that's used for for people to eat, for human consumption. So maybe you go to a farmer's market and you see sweet corn in the summer, or at the grocery store you can buy sweet corn. That's the corn that's grown for people to eat. But the dent corn, the flint corn, and the pod corn are all used for animal feed. They use it to make corn meal, and they use it to make corn oil. Pod corn, is what we cook, or maybe you have at the movie theater, and that's gonna be part of our science experiment today, is do you think our popcorn can dance? And then there's also flower corn used to make flour. Okay, so there are six different types of corn. Are you ready to see if our number four, our popcorn can dance? Well, let's head over to our science area. Hi friends and welcome back to our experiment. Do you think that popcorn can dance? Remember that was one of our six types of corn as popcorn? What do you think, yes or no? Hmm. Let's find out. Today we're gonna to be using a little bit of water and baking soda and vinegar. We're gonna add in our popcorn. Uh-oh, June wants popcorn too. June, you can't have popcorn. June, you can't have popcorn. <laughs> June, you want to sit for our experiment? Come here. Sit. June's like, I'll sit and eat all the popcorn. Sit. <laughs> we are also joined by June for our experiment today. So we have our water and our corn, popcorn. That's one of our six types of corns. We're gonna add our vinegar. What do you think, Mr. Oliphant? Do you think our popcorn kernels are going I to really dance? I really don't know. You really don't know? <laughs> I don't know. We have to add our baking soda. Hello. Now we put our lid on. Okay, so we let it explode. And then we're going to keep checking it. Once all the bubbles go down. What do you see? Does it look like those popcorn kernels are dancing? Uh. Are they going up and down? Look at all those kernels. Are they dancing up and down, up and down, up and down? Is that pretty neat? There they are. Woo! So popcorn can dance, can it? Thumbs up. This is a really fun experiment that you can try at home too. We're gonna go back over and finish our joke for the day. We're gonna be joined by Mr. Cow. For our charade today, we're gonna to see if you can guess. 
popcorn popping. Ooh, a dancing. It's an instrument. Piano. Playing the piano. piano. And for our joke today, we are joined by Mr. Cow. Hello. Our joke is going to be said by Mr. Elephant. Come up here. Where do cows like to go on Saturday nights? Hmm. Where do cows like to go on Saturday night? I know. To the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, friends. See you next time. Bye.